Hello guys, our next uh, today's topic is carbohydrate and in carbohydrate there is glucose, fructose, sucrose, maltose, lactose. First we are going to discuss about the glucose. Glucose its general formula is C6 H12 O6. It is having 6 carbon atoms with aldehyde as a functional group so it is known as aldohexose commonly it is also known as dextrose glucose can be formed by the two reactions number one hydrolysis of the sucrose its general formula is C12H22O11 get hydrolyzed and give you two units of the glucose or it will give you the glucose and fructose Glucose can also be obtained from the starch like as starch get hydrolyzed with the water and we are getting what? We are getting the glucose. Now the next is that chemical reactions of glucose we will discuss its structure, its open structure, its chain structure. First we are going to discuss normal chemical action of the glucose. Yes guys, now the first chemical reaction of the glucose as you are watching its general formula I am writing in the expanded form that is CHO, CHOH4 and then CH2OH when this is open chain structure I will explain more in the next class whenever glucose reacts with the hydrogen iodide and we are heating we are getting normal hexane the formation of normal hexane with the reaction of HI with glucose, it proves that glucose is having 6 carbon atom. If the examination asks you that how could you prove that there are 6 carbon atom in glucose, then you write down this reaction. And the next is that if the question will come that glucose is having 5 OH group, prove it, then you make that. Reaction with ethan oil chloride, you can do the same reaction with ethanoic anhydride also. So all the five words group is replaced by COCH3 group. You are watching here, I am underlining also. So it proves that glucose is having five OH group. And number third is that, how could you prove that glucose is having carbonyl group? So for that you have to react the glucose with bromine water or nitric acid. When we react it with the bromine water, we are getting the gluconic acid and aldehyde carbon atom is converted into the acidic part and whereas with this nitric acid up and down both are converted that is aldehyde and alcohol both are converted into the acetic acid and commonly it is known as stearic acid this is also important these are very very important reaction and each and every year there comes year by year to prove that glucose is having six carbon atom prove that glucose is having carbonyl group and to prove that glucose is having 5 OH group these three reactions are too much important next one reaction also with the cyanide with the cyanide it will form the cyanohydrin as you know that we have done in the algae you are watching guys now the reaction of glucose with the hydrogen cyanide this is first I am writing again the formula of glucose now I am opening it and showing you that glucose is having aldehyde group that is carbonyl group when it reacts with the hydrogen cyanide nucleophilic reactions takes place and it will give you OH and CN we have done earlier in the aldehyde ketone and this is known as cyanohydrin cyanohydrin in the next class we will discuss about the rotation, open chain structure, closed chain structure of the glucose. Suppose that all the work of glucose has been studied by the coping of glycerol gel. Suppose that this is CHO, C, OH, H and CH2OH. This is my dear student glycerol dehyde glycerol dehyde 
and copy of this one they have made the glucose and showing you the structure in the next class i am going to discuss with you the comparison of the glyceraldehyde and the glucose by opening the glucose and similarity plus minus each and everything i will tell you and explain you this structure in the next class please be with me and i will explain you the most important part of all the chapter biomolecule